Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today we are doing a full face of Patrick Ta. So I have a full little basket of all Patrick Ta beauty, and the only thing that I do not have from Patrick Ta because he does not offer it is concealer, so we will be, oh, and a brow pencil. So we will be using a couple of different brands when it comes to things that the brand does not actually sell or that the brand that I don't have from the brand. <laughs> And I, everything is Patrick Ta except for the brows and the concealer. If you haven't seen my recent foundation routine, I will link that below, but I have been loving and using the Patrick Ta cream foundation recently just because my skin is, well, it was in a good place. And then some nice and fun flare ups happened. I accidentally ate gluten. And if you don't know, I have celiac from neurological Bichette's disease. So it created quite the skin acting up I had a rash on my forehead and on my cheeks. It's a little faded now, so that's good. But if you are having like a good skin moment, this is a great foundation to, wait, is this the one, is this the shade I wanted to use? Light one? Thank God I checked. This is the contour. All right, here we go. I chose the shade light one. This is, I was about to put contour all over my face. Anyway, I love this foundation and I've loved it since it came out and I have a full review if you'd like to see that. I will also link that below. So I'm just using the shade light one on the foundation brush because I love this little brush. The only thing I don't like about it is the duo endedness because I don't have, I, I just like, I, I don't understand duo ended brushes because you can't put them in a brush holder. You have to lay them flat and then they're rolling all over the place. I would much rather have like a duo of like a little powder brush that works with this foundation than, you know, a different foundation brush, but I get the duo-ness. It's just hard to pack. It's hard to set aside and all those things. So I'm just applying a little bit to the center of my face. Like I had such a bad reaction on my chin as well. So you can definitely see some dry skin there. Not cool, not fun. My skin was doing so well. And then I had to go out of town, you know? And uh, what foods you think might be safe just sometimes aren't. And there are a lot of things that are in your control when you travel and you have food allergies, but then there's a lot that's not. A lot of people don't take gluten-free seriously because it's like a fad. You know, people think you're on a diet. So they're like, yeah, that's gluten-free, sure. And it's like, no, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's, it's a full-blown reaction. Anyway, so that's the shade light one. Speaking of my skin, I have recently gotten a lot of comments that how good my skin looks. I have to talk about today's sponsor. Thank you so much, Blooming, for sponsoring today's video. If you are new to my channel, then you don't know that I've been raving about red light therapy recently, but it has been such a godsend for my skin, which is dry, sensitive, and obviously breakout prone. And if I eat the wrong thing, then girl, we are looking at a long time with a rash and a breakout. But thanks to Blue Mean and this little device that I've been using now for a month, the recovery time that I've noticed is so much much shorter. The Blue Mean Face Pro comes with three different light therapies. It comes with green, red, and blue. Evens the skin, tightens everything, plus there's a microcurrent going on which helps stimulate all of the good things in your skin and create just like anti-puffiness. I My face is like, after I use this thing, it is so much less puffy you can really melt all of your good skincare in. So after I apply my skincare, all it takes is three times a week to use the Blue Mean Face Pro and I get depuffed. I get all of my lymphatic drainage massaging going on with the microcurrent. And the great thing about this is it doesn't turn on until you actually touch it to your skin. I mean, right now I have foundation on, but you're seeing me use it. Uh, as soon as you touch it to your skin, it activates and it actually vibrates and gets everything moving in the micro current starts and oh my gosh it has made such a difference and it's so easy and like quick to use to pick up and plus it's ergonomical which is great if you have arthritis hi hello sickly me speaking my skin has changed so much for the better when i started using light therapy and microcurrent it makes such a huge difference i will have my blue mean link below the first hundred people can get the blue mean face pro for seventy dollars normally it's a hundred and fifty dollars so that's eighty dollars off plus you will get a free ebook on face tightening secrets so blue mean actually 
actually every few weeks activates this link. So the first hundred people are the only people that are gonna get this deal. And trust me when I say it always sells out, but they do have a return policy. If you don't see any results, you get your money back. Again, I will have the link below right above the fold so you can click and shop the Blue Mean Face Pro. I'm telling you, if you're somebody who struggles with puffiness and just overall you want to take care of your skin you will love this little device and first hundred people it's only seventy dollars now let's get back into the video and apply makeup to our very depuffed and drained face one all right next i'm going to contour and bronze up my face using the patrick ta cream contour and powder bronzer duo in she's statuesque i love these little compacts and i'm going to be using i'm going to be using the patrick ta for face contour one i love the shape of this brush i love doing one brand tutorials because it reminds me of what i love from that specific brand and one of the things is this brush for sure because it makes contouring so easy and i just apply this in the shadows where i want the shadows i want a little bit more of a bronze and shadow right there and right under my brow and this gets the job done so quickly and then you can go right over with the bronze bronzing powder which is really nice one thing i love about patrick ta's cream and powder products is that they can be layered over and over again without them filling up or picking up other products that was one of his things like when he created these products is that was the big perk is you could layer and actually be a makeup artist instead of like oh because i just applied a cream right over this powder now the whole look is ruined i'm just applying a little bit of she's statuesque cream contour to the forehead because this is a little warm it's not exactly a cool toned um, contour shade so i don't mind it bronzing up my face a little bit now even though i don't need to contour because of the blooming i still like to bring the same color down my neck a little bit all right for blush i love this i have a few of patrick Todd blush shades and i really want to get the pink one it's actually on my sephora sale wish list but this is the double take cream and powder blush in she is baked not she is she's baked <laughs> i love this it really gives you a nice sun-kissed look but also winter cold weather kissed um, which i need to do my roundup of cold weather blushes i'm using this on a bk beauty 106 I will have everything that I use and mention, including the brushes, because I get so many questions. I've started taking the time to list brushes that I use and everything. And BK Beauty, I have a discount code. It's a Mallory10 if you wanna use it. It is not an affiliate code. It just gets you 10% off of your order. But all of my links in my info box are mostly affiliate links because this is what I do for a living. So if you shop through my links, you support this channel. So thank you. But isn't that such a pretty color? I could go way too far, but I like to take it up high because I'm about to go into concealer and I'm just, there we go. Before we go in with concealer, I'm gonna use the Patrick Toffer Face We Need Her in Gold Pearl Highlight Spray. And then I'm just gonna press it in with this brush, the BK Beauty 106. Look how pretty that is. I always forget how pretty this is. Really gives you a good highlight, really good uh, natural type of glow on this side. Now today I am gonna be creating classic Patrick Ta look. Patrick Ta is honestly, you know, he's new on the scene as far as like make, not really new on the scene, but when he came onto the scene, it was like, oh, whoa, this, this guy like does incredible makeup. Patrick Ta has become one of my favorite makeup artists of all time. Saying a lot, I feel like he's our uh, current day Kevin Aquan in the way that he applies makeup beautifully. And I really love and appreciate how he makes all of his clients with all different faces and skin tones just look their most beautiful. It's just like beautiful makeup. And I love how he lengthens everyone's eyes. It's just, ooh, I just, I think that he's incredible. So for concealer, I'm just gonna use something lightweight since the foundation is, we basically only have coverage right in the center of our face. I don't wanna go too heavy there. So I'm gonna use the YSL Touche Clat in the shade. This is the lightest shade. I always have a hard time. So I have glaucoma. I have a hard time seeing shades and names on like, especially reflective stuff. All right, so I'm just going to apply this. I need to click some more out. Thank you. It was probably too much. I've been liking. I did this in a recent video, a little, I put applied way too much y'all. I've been really liking what I was saying before I realized I applied way too much. There goes the perk of, um, using less, but I've been liking the triangle application where you apply like two little dots in the inner corner and then blend them out to 
the under eye here to the outer part of the under eye. I thought I was like, oh, this is just kind of like a normal concealer type application. And it has really, it's just really not, you use a lot less product if you actually use less product and it doesn't get as cakey and creasy looking, especially if you have more uh, mature skin. And uh, cause all of the majority of the product is right where you have darkness. So you have less product in the center and just enough product where you need it to brighten and lift. And I, like I said in that video, I learned that on Pinterest. So Pinterest is still a favorite social media that I like to use. And you can follow me at iMelloryBrook, just like all my other social media on Pinterest at least daily, <laughs> at least once a day. I'm just gonna take that same BK Beauty brush that we've blended everything in. Oh my God, the 106 is my favorite little like multi-use does everything brush. It is so good. All right, to set the Touche Eclat, I'm going to go back in to not, she's statuesque, but the cream and powder foundation. And I'm just going to set that area with the powder. And this powder is very, very blurring. I highly recommend just using a little bit and then going back in instead of like thinking that it's not gonna do its job and then go going in with too much because look at how that set. It like, it's set, you don't need more, you need very little. This powder is so finely milled and uh, really, really sets and blurs. I can't wait. I really hope the Patrick comes out with a concealer. I love the other, coverage, well not coverage, but the face products. So nice and like soft focus finish, you know? Now I'm going to use for my brows, the Hourglass Arch Brow and Platinum Blonde, just because I don't have an eyebrow pencil from Patrick, but I do have the gel. And this gel is like very strong hold. So a little bit goes a long way. So I'm not gonna really apply too much brow pencil. I'm just gonna fill in where I need it the most because this will really brush up the brow hairs and you don't want to have like oops there's a gap and it will really make it super visible i'm almost out of my brow pencil y'all i always i'm like oh i don't realize it until it's there because these hourglass arch brows pencils last so long i've actually been repurchasing purchasing this brow pencil in particular oh god for the past close to 10 years is when they came out with this there's like no other brow pencil that matches my brow hairs more than the platinum blonde and it's also just such a lovely pencil formula i have not yet found in all these years something that can compete or that comes close to the hourglass arch brow period all right now i'm going to go in with the four brows major brow lamination gel you got to be careful with this because it is like once you've applied it don't go back in. It will start turning white. It has one side with bristles and then a flat side to laminate. So I'm gonna start with the bristle side because I like just the front of my brows pushed up. And then I'm gonna go into the lamination flat side and actually brush the rest of my brow hairs down because that's just, you can kind of tell when you need to quit and I need to quit <laughs> because it will start turning white if you're not careful. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here and just brush these up and then take that flat side and laminate. And you have a little bit of work time, but once you're done, you're done. Like I just do not keep going back in. I got a little on my skin that might turn a little white. I'm going against the rules, but you guys will see the front of that brow might turn white. <laughs> so keep an eye on that. So for the eyeshadow look, I wanna use the new Patrick Top major dimension three. I have all three palettes. If you would like to see my full review and tutorial on this, I will link that below. I did a whole video comparing all three palettes as well. So this one is by far my favorite palette that he has released just because it is just matte neutral. You got cool neutrals and warm today. I'm going to do warm because I've already done cool for my channel. So we're going to do warm. And to start out, I'm gonna go into the cream shade here, which is non-negotiable. And I'm going to use a, why did I just sound British? I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 207. It's a little domed brush. And I'm gonna carve out the outer portion of the look here. So I want to be extended, but a little lifted. The last tutorial I did with this, I uh, did a little more straight out. Today, I wanna do a little lifted. And these cream shadows are so pretty. They are not sloppy. They really blend out beautifully. Like he could sell these in pots. And I'm also gonna take a little depth on the corner, in the inner corner of the eye and blend up and out. These cream shadows are great for mapping out the entire look. 
So I'm gonna take this all the way above my crease. If you don't have hooded lids, just go right in your crease because you will actually be able to see the product. By the way, I've adjusted my lighting. Let me know what you think. I've been getting complaints that it's a little too bright and it's because I'm losing vision. I have glaucoma and it is not, uh, it's progressing. So I don't notice when the lights are too bright, actually. Well, I've been having them brighter so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm playing with the lighting and we're trying to figure that out. Ooh, this would be good, but why is there pink on it? All right, I'm gonna take an SMV35 and blend that out. And as you can see, we are really mapping out the shape here. I need my bigger mirror. <laughs> mapping out the shape with that classic extended eye Patrick Ta does. I just, I don't know. You you guys tell me, who's your favorite makeup artist? Why? What kind of looks do they create? I love full glam, neutral makeup looks, and I love when makeup looks beautiful. And I also love edgy makeup too, and all that stuff, but my absolute favorite is definitely Patrick Ta's style of makeup. It inspires me, it makes me feel, when I follow like one of his looks or something, I'm like, oh, I feel prettier than I ever have before. And and that's what I really appreciate about his makeup artistry. Also, he's a makeup artist that you can follow one of his looks and that makeup is actually gonna last you. A lot of people on Instagram who do makeup looks that might be inspiring, it's not to last. Like it is just for that quick little eye iPhone photo that will catch your attention. And then you go to try to recreate it like a glossy lid and you're like, wait a minute, why is everything melting off my face? And it's because it's not meant to last. It's meant for one to 15 photographs and that's it. So another thing I appreciate about Patrick is like all of his looks, they're not crazy. They're just beautiful and I can follow like the products he uses and know that they're gonna last me all day. So the look I've taken time to recreate is actually gonna, you know, not only look good in one to 15 photos, but also last. And I am going to go in to Needed, which is this shade here. I'm having such a hard time reading this. And then I'm going to shape out the look using this eyeshadow, using a Gabby Rose Eye Master Blending Brush. I love the Eye Master and the Eye Master Blending Brush. They are like just absolutely life-changing. They are so soft. So if you're someone who has like a hard time with eye makeup brushes, like hurting your eyes when you apply them, you will love Gabby Rose's uh, makeup brushes because they're so soft and they don't like have any stray hairs that stab you or anything. And the Eye Master blending really can lay down a pack of pigmentation, but also blend at the same time. So I really appreciate that. I'm just doing the other eye the same way, just kind of going over where we mapped out <clears throat> with the cream shadow. Now I'm going in with a BK Beauty 201 to just further blend. It's a little fluffier than the Eye Master blending, but moves around less pigment. So it just kind of helps diffuse any lines or edges. Now I'm gonna go in with a MAC 221 and go in to Crucial, which is this shade. And I'm going to apply this on the top and the bottom simultaneously and just deepen up the outer corner of the eye. You guys, I'm so excited because I ordered a an eyelash lift kit. Like I feel like the Olaplex eyelash serum has grown my lashes, but my lashes tend to go out pretty straight. So I'm gonna do a video on the first time First time eyelash lift. It seems simple, but it's a little scary to me. <laughs> we'll see, a lot of people love it. So think it might be fun and everyone's results, especially on the one I ordered, which is, I think it's Lux or something like that. I'll link it below so you can see the before and afters on the reviews, but it looks really good. And I ordered mine on Amazon. There's a ton of brands, but I think Lux is kind of like the the main one everyone talks about and, and likes. So I went with that one. All right, I'm really liking where this is going. Now I'm just gonna put this a little bit of that same shade using the MAC 221 right in the inner corner. And I'm going to just carve that area out and then feather it towards the center of the eye. And then I'm just gonna blend all that. Now is the time I wanna cut a little bit of a crease from the center here, right in the center, kind of create a nice, um, oh, what is that called? 
Oh wow, there it goes. You know, where there's light in the center of the lid. Halo eye. I'm gonna go right back into the cream foundation with an Angie Hot and Flashy A505. I've been loving to use this brush as my little cut crease deal. And I'm just going to apply this foundation right to the center of my lids everywhere. We're gonna go in with a lighter shade. So by using the foundation, it's a little more sheer than a concealer. So you're not gonna get too much of a line of demarcation and it kind of like pre-blends for you in a way. See that? Oh, it just kind of like pre-blends a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the Eye Master blending and just diffuse the edges of that towards the center of the eye and that will help diffuse any harsh lines and also blend what's already there and i'm just going to do the same thing over here starting at the center of my eyelid now you can skip this step if you don't want the lightness in the center of the lid to be too light or you don't want to accentuate that too much and I'm just doing the same thing with the Eye Master blending, kind of blending towards the center of the lid. All right, instead of, if you have hooded lids and you like a cut crease or you like doing something like this, but you feel like your eye shadow still crease, definitely go back in before you go in with a lighter shadow with a translucent powder. And I like to do this with a blending brush. I'm gonna use a Gabby Rose. This is from like little colors collection she had knocking the excess off, but I'm just gonna set this with the powder and then go in with the eyeshadow. This will ensure that you have no creasing or anything. Now, the last time I used this eyeshadow palette in a tutorial, I used the this white shade. I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is classic. Still bright, but not stark bright, you know, with a cooler undertone. And I am going to use this on a MAC 234 ES. And this is a nice kind of warm yellow undertoned like bone shade with a little bit of peach in there. Get a lot of nice brightness. And then I'm gonna go back in with that Eye Master blending and blend towards the center of the eye. Do the same thing, blend towards the center. We're just kind of bringing some nice structure with these shades. Now I'm just going back in with that MAC 221 that already still has pigment on it. And I'm just gonna deepen up that inner corner a little more and the outer corner with what's left. So we're not adding too much more eyeshadow to these areas. Now for eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Precision Gel Liner in Black. It's a really nice deep black. And I'm gonna line my water lines with this all the way into the inner corner and then on the top. And I'm just going to extend this out into a little bit of a wing, but we're not doing winged liner. We're just doing like a smudged extension. And now I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 204 smudger brush, and I'm gonna go into this deepest brown shade here. And now I, in my other tutorial, used the cream shadow, shadow as liner, and I can tell you right now, it works and it's beautiful. But today I wanted to use the pencil liner because I still wanted to incorporate black, but not too deep. And I'm just smudging this outward and back in and up. And I'm also going in with the brush a little upside down to pull that pigmentation up through the lid. And I'm just doing the same thing over here. And I'm just going to smudge this and extend with that deepest brown shade. And bring it upward through the lid here. And now I'm just gonna blend with that Gabby Rose colors brush and go in with a BK Beauty 203 same deep brown shade on the top, the warm shades. And I'm just gonna go right over this, starting at the top here and extend and smudge on the lower lash line and blend out again. And I'm just gonna clean up the edges with a Gabby Rose Pro 04. Um, this kind of just cleans everything up and I'm just using whatever is left on this brush, whatever concealer I used. Ooh, this is so smoky and good. Now I'm just gonna curl my eyes and I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Four Eyes Major Volume Mascara. I feel like this was one product from Patrick Ta Beauty that I just, couldn't get to work for me the best. It's definitely not in my like go-to mascara rotation. Oh great, there was shimmer on my freaking eyelash curler. So <laughs> there's a couple of shimmers there. Ooh, or we could add shimmer to the inner corner, but I really want this to be matte. So let's pretend those few little sparkles are not there. <laughs> I hate that when I go to apply my, apply my, when I go ahead and curl my lashes and I'm like, oh crap, there's shimmer. 
All right, now I did bend my brush. It doesn't come like this. I think it helps keep my lashes standing up. Let me know if you like this mascara. I feel like it's just a really good volumizing mascara, but again, it's not my favorite. Actually, it's doing pretty good right now. It might've just been a first impression. That's pretty good. That's, that kind of looks like when he uses it. I just couldn't get it to look as good on my lashes because I don't have that great of lashes, especially, you know what? I think when I tried this, I hadn't started a lash serum yet. So that might be part of it because without a lash serum, my lashes are not long at all. They're kind of straight, blonde, and shorter. Okay, it's much better with longer lashes. <laughs> So I'm just gonna apply a couple coats because I'm getting a lot of volume out of this. And of course, I got it on my lid. All right, I kind of remembered after I was applying my lower lashes, why I don't like this mascara is my lashes get even more straight. Just let me know if you like the mascara. I know a lot of people do. It just doesn't work with my lashes. It just like enhances all the bad things about them, I feel. But I'm gonna use um, Lily Lashes Brown Blended Lashes, made some corner lashes in in the buff. So I'm gonna add a little, you know, something there be just because this mascara is not doing it for me. And the Brown Blended Collection is really nice because it does have some brown lashes in there as well as the black. So you get some diversity and it's a lot softer. So it's perfect to cut these down for corner lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my glue, but what I'm gonna do is um, actually curl my lashes one more time with my lash curler because this is just like super bad, straight down. If you don't have straight lashes, this mascara might work for you a little better. It's just not good for my type of lashes. All right, while the glue is drying, let's just go ahead and curl these one more time. Like it lengthens them, but oh girl, does it straighten them. I just might have such fine lashes like I do hair, like that's much better. That, you know, certain formulas can weigh them down a lot. That's why I'm excited to do this lash lift. I'm like, oh my God, the results. And then I'm like, oh yeah, there's a lot of people I follow on Instagram that I think have definitely done a lash lift. And I was like, this explains things. That's a little better. I don't know why my lashes are wanting to stick together. Oh, come on. The eyeshadow look is so stunning. Let's not have this ruin everything, you know what I mean? All right. Now I'm gonna just apply these little corner lashes I created. Hopefully they'll blend well. Oh, that's kind of perfect. And when I apply lashes, I hope the camera caught that. I like to apply them underneath my eyelid just a little bit, just where it's a little skin over. I know that sounds like, ooh, I know that seems dangerous, but it looks the most natural. Okay, there, at least we have some extension going on because we don't have any volume. All right, this is the eye I can like barely see out of. So we're going in a little bit blindly, pun intended. And the lashes got stuck on something. We start it's probably lash glue. Come on, give a blind girl a break. All right, Whew, girl. Hopefully you guys can see this because I, I cannot. There we go. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get on that side. We are really struggling with seeing. There, at least we have a little extension, but I'm not liking what the mascara is doing at all. Like what? I'm gonna apply a little more to the tips maybe. Make the front lashes a little more present. That's still not ideal. Okay, I really don't like this mascara. Even the curved brush and like, you know, lengthening my lashes with the Olaplex Eyelash Serum is still not, it's just not, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and layer a little more blush. So I'm gonna go back into the, with the BK Beauty 106 and I'm gonna go back into the cream side and I'm just gonna apply this on the center of my cheeks and work outward, having most of the pigmentation in the center. Just because I like that look right now, I feel like it's like a nice little flush and then going a little more dispersed out. And then I'm gonna go right on top. I'll show you guys, this can be layered so beautifully. It's amazing the way he created these formulas to work. And then we have the perfect little center flush. I'm just gonna disperse the pigment, drape a little bit, but have most of the blush in the center of my face. Kind of nice with a very dramatic eye, kind of like an innocent blush placement, you know? All right, now time for lips and we are done. I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Silky Lip Cream in the shade Blushing. This is one of the new shades. and I've been loving this shade recently, especially for fall. It's kind of like a she's confident, but deep, you know? And I'm just gonna apply this little lip liner. Oh yeah, this color is so, so pretty. And the applicator on these, you can easily apply without a lip liner. 
Patrick Ta's Silky Lip Creams are one of my favorite lip product formulas of all time because they go on full pigmentation and then they last all day and fade so beautifully. And like, you only have to apply like maybe one more time throughout the entire day. It's, I just love the formula. And the like minty scent I feel like is so much more pleasant than like a vanilla or like what most people do. Oh, that's not what we wanted to happen. <laughs> all right, big reveal. The hair clips come out. Wait, we have one more thing. I love this setting spray. This one's on its last leg. What, why do I keep dropping everything? This bottle is on its last leg. It's got a little bit left, but the Patrick Ta Major Glow Dewy Milky Mist. Just, if you have dry skin, this is beautiful on all different foundation and, and powder and concealers, but it locks everything into place, moisturizes, and gives you such a nice extra glowy finish. If you're not into that, you probably won't like this setting spray like at all. And it's such a nice little fine mist that there's barely any places you need to kind of press into the skin. So, oh, so pretty. So this is my full face look using all of Patrick Ta Beauty. So I will have everything in the info box linked below. Don't forget the first 100 people that purchase the Blue Mean Face Pro, you can get it for $70 when normally it's 150. So that link will be below as well. And I'm telling you, this is so nice. You'll probably want to do it more than three times a week, but you only need to do it three times a week. I love the new eyeshadow palette. The Major Dimension 3 is by far my favorite. But again, if you would like to see me review it and swatch it and compare it to the other eyeshadow palettes, the four eyes, the Major Dimension, Major Dimension 2, and the Major Dimension 3, I will link that video below. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got some tips and tricks out of it. Let me know if you try it out. And let me know in the comments what your favorite Patrick Ta Beauty products are. I really enjoy his makeup and most of it, just the mascara is just not for me. But I will have everything in the info box linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know which brand you'd like to see me do next. A full face of, I love full face, single brand videos. So let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. All right.